Good morning. Happy Saturday. Anybody having a little bit of bubbly? I'm going to have a taste. It's just ginger ale. Don't panic, Margaret. Don't panic, Dave. I am uh, celebrating with you with my new awesome apron that we'll talk about in a little bit. But let's back up a little bit. I'm Denise. This is Facebook Live from the University of Sewing, and we are very glad you have joined us this morning. For those of you that watched yesterday, if I do this, does that mean anything to you? So sorry about the sideways video. I think we got it worked out. Um, maybe have a glass of your own bubbly and maybe it'll make a little more sense. Sorry about that. Just shows that we miss Dave and Margaret and the guys that do this all the time so very much while they're out in California finishing up Bernina University. I have seen some fantastic photos from what they've been playing with, what they've been learning, some people that they have met, and even a photo of Dave and Margaret dancing. Yes, Dave is dancing again. Woohoo! We love to hear that. So, they will be back in the shop next week. Send up some uh, good thoughts for safe travels for them home as well as for Alice. We've missed them all this week, but we have somehow carried on, and we will do that this morning with our Facebook Live. So, Santa's here with me. We're going to talk about some Christmas in July things. We've got some new fabrics to share with you, but those of you who follow us and watch us regularly know that when you watch our video, and you share, and of course you have to let us know that you shared the video, we put your name into a drawing for a giveaway. I've got one for you today. Aspen's going to come a little closer. This is a foundation paper pad. It's the papers to do these sweet little square to square blocks. Any of you quilters know this is a pretty simple looking block, but boy, some days it's just not a simple block to put together. So if you can use these papers, you're going to get those awesome accurate points. You're going to have the quarter inch on the edge so you don't lose those points when you're sewing them together. So this is a fun little giveaway. And even if it's not something that you've done before, it's a great way to try paper piecing. We're happy to give you some tips on that. We do have some good videos on our website on the YouTube page. Of course, that's under University of Sewing. So this has, let's see, it has 42 blocks. And this is by the company It's So Emma that I think many of you are probably familiar with. So again, make sure you share the video and let us know that you did and I'll put your name in that drawing. So let's talk about some fun things that came today. Well, not today, this week. What do you think of my apron? Pretty cute, huh? This is a panel and we've got it right here. I'm gonna show you. And I think this was one of those things that when Margaret saw it, she thought, oh yes, we have to have that. And as usual, Margaret was right. But look how cute it is. You can either do two aprons, or you can do, I'm gonna move my glass of ginger ale. We certainly don't wanna get it on our fabric. You can either do two aprons, or you can do a double-sided one, which is what we've done with the one that I'm wearing. Let's turn this around so you don't have to stand on your head to see it. Once a week is enough to watch a video, right? It's so cute, guys. So we've got the chalkboard background here with this beautiful artistic drawing of some gorgeous bottles of wine and some grapes and grape leaves and just the colors in it are really sweet. And then the other side is, of course, the chalkboard writing. And that's the one that I'm showing you. And we do have, it's also got pockets to attach. There's two small pockets, one larger pocket. You can put them anywhere you want. You cannot do them if you're not a pocket kind of person. It comes with the tie, and it comes with some pretty simple directions. So Pat, who's been hanging out here with me this week, helping me hold down the fort with everybody else, Pat and I put this together and we were super excited to do it. And let's go ahead and give you the, turn it around so you can see the backside of it. And I wanna show you a little bit about how it's constructed too. It's really simple. At first we thought the ties were sewn on, but no, they're not. There is a casing here at the edge on this curve. And so this one really long tie goes through the casing on this side, of course around for the neck and this way, and the tie is plenty big for anybody to wear. Super cute, don't you think? We thought so. There is a companion piece to go with this. So let's move our fun apron out of the way. 
Those would make a great gift, guys. The, um, the companion one, I'm getting them all mixed up, is this one. And speaking of gifts, this one even comes with a gift tag. And the cool thing is you could make a couple of these, give them as gifts, keep one or two for yourself. These panels create a little wine gift bag. And the directions do have you put some batting in between the front and the lining. You have the option to quilt that, which is something we're gonna play with here in the shop. Or not, you don't have to quilt it. And then of course the cute little gift tags. And this is the panel. So you do get three of the bags. Super cute, right? And again, some pretty good directions. And if you ever are working on something like this or anything else and you get stuck, something's just not making sense to your brain, definitely bring it in, give us a call. We can help you out with that, guys. So, now that we've got the wine, the important things out of the way this morning, let's move on to some of the other gorgeous things that we have. This one, I think we've had this one before. Margaret, yes, no, maybe? If not, we do have another version of it in a different colorway. This is an Amanda Murphy print. This is by Benertex. And if you look at, the colors are gorgeous in it. I think they're really sweet. But look at the movement, look at the curves and the print that's in here. And the reason that I want you to focus on that is those of you ladies who have just purchased your long arms recently, I'm so excited for you guys. And I, I think there may be another one going out the door here soon. Um, this is a great piece to practice your free motion quilting on. You can follow these little curves in the feather. You can follow here. There's even a sweet little butterfly in here. But guys, you don't have to have a long arm to do that. You can do that on your domestic machine too. So, great way to practice and have some fun. Come up with a cute little quick blanket for a friend. You always need to have one or two of those tucked away all ready to go, don't you think? So again, that's Benner Text. That's Amanda Murphy. And of course, everything I'm showing you today is all on our website. What's the website? Oh yes, universityofsewing.com. Be sure to check it out. Now, since Santa's here, we wanna focus a little bit on Christmas. And this Santa is rather handsome, don't you think? He actually reminds me a little bit of my dad. My dad's a little taller, but yeah. But I have another Santa to share with you today. Santa has this piece that goes with him. Santa has some friends on this piece to coordinate with him. And this one is actually called Father Christmas, which really just seems perfect to me. Some fun little polar bears, little foxes, look at the bunnies. And it is Christmas because it's got Father Christmas in it, but the colors are a little different. To me, they're a little more wintry with the blues and the whites, not the traditional red and green. So you can mix up your color scheme a little bit. And the panel that goes with this, I see so cute. You could do the panel by itself without a doubt. You could add to the panel. You could add these. We've got some other things that are gonna blend beautifully with this panel, but I want you to check out the artwork on this. Make sure we get Santa heads up for you here. Look how cute that is, guys. And so this is one panel. You can see the dividing line here. The top has got this gorgeous quilt block sort of effect to it. No PC necessary. And you know what? I won't tell if you stitch around some of those shapes and make it look like you pieced it. I'm not gonna say a word. I think it's a great idea. And imagine, imagine some fun um, free motion quilting here, maybe some snowflakes just quilted in here. You could certainly outline. You could do some, some fun, almost thread painting on the animals with their fur. And guys, it is July. We're halfway to Christmas. Does that make you panic a little bit? Don't panic. Margaret's talking about doing some uh, Christmas kind of workshops where you can come in and work on your Christmas project. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to watch, of course, the Facebook Lives and the uh, the emails that we send out. If you're not on our email list, give us a call. We can put you on there. Make sure that you don't miss out on any of those fun sales or events that we have. I have no doubt that when Margaret comes back from Bernini University, she's going to have all kinds of ideas for new classes. You don't want to miss out. We do keep them kind of limited 
most of the time. So sometimes they do, the space does sell out on those. So keep that in mind too. Let's shift gears. We love you, Santa. We're moving on a little bit here. Gorgeous batiks. If you haven't sewn with batiks, you should at least give it a try. Typically, the batik fabric is woven a little more tightly than traditional quilting cotton. That has to do with accepting the dyeing for the process and the wax and all of that, but it makes it so cool to work with. It's, it's so stable. Your things come out beautiful and flat and gorgeous. And the color in the batiks, of course, it's not a digital print, but the colors in them I just think are kind of neat. And of course, a batik, the fun thing, is typically there's very little difference between one side to the other. So you can see this one is a little darker than this side. I'm, I'm hoping you can see that on the video. But sometimes we get on a roll with our sewing and you know a piece might get flipped or turned around backwards. It's a little frustrating when that happens. If that happens with a batik, it's no big deal. You can keep on moving. So we've got this one, which is gorgeous. These are Banyan Batiks by Northcott. This is called Flower Petal Got the Blues. I think it's really cute. And batiks are a little stiffer, but they've still got some drape to them. So yeah, they're gonna make a gorgeous quilt, but think about a shirt in that, or even just a really nice flowy skirt. It's still pretty warm, right? We're gonna have some warm weather for a while. Yeah, maybe a skirt and that would be cute. That would be something in this print, I think you could transition into fall also. That would be really cute. So we've got that one. We've also got this one, another Banyan Batiks, also by Northcott. This one is called Flower Petal, and the color is gray flannel. Don't get thrown off by that flannel word on there. This is not a flannel fabric. This is a cotton batik. But that background color, I think, is what they're referring to. And it's really pretty. If you look carefully, it does have lots of the gray, <clears throat> but there's also a little bit of violet in here and some greens. And, of course, the print, these florals, with the texture in the leaves. It's a little different. I haven't seen a batik quite like that before. So again, I think that one would make a gorgeous garment too. For you garment sewers, you crazy people, you. Just kidding. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. I'm playing more in the garment world. Look at this one. Lots of times we have a hard time coming up with quilts for guys. It seems like so much of the fabric is florals, which is great, or softer colors which is fine, but not all the guys are into that. This one, I think you could totally use for a guy or someone who just, you know, wants something a little different. Not quite so fussy. It's almost a plaid, and it, I think it would make a really cool back or a border so that you don't lose that shape, but my favorite thing to do with something, sort of a line kind of design, and especially this, picture that as a binding on your quilt. I really like that idea. I think that would be fun to do. I have a quilt in process. That might be the binding for my project. This one too, same idea. Some nice dark rich colors, grays with a little bit of green in it. And again, that fun almost plaid print to it. Lots of things you could do with this. I could see a cool kind of uh, camp shirt maybe, almost like a Hawaiian style. I think that would be fun. And then we've got another one in that same print line, but the colors, of course, are a little bit different. Some fuchsia mixed in here. And then this background is sort of a blue gray. There is black tucked in there. And then this kind of, I don't know, coffee color bronzy mixed in, which if you told me that those colors would play nicely together, I probably would wonder a little bit about that, but I do like the way this one has come through. They did a nice job on this one. And again, this is um, Banyan Batiks by Northcott. They're so much fun to play with. We have a really nice selection of batiks too. Um, if you haven't had a chance to come into the shop, maybe you're not quite local. In that case, we love you anyway. Um, check out the website for sure. You can do a search on batiks and we've got a really good selection of them. And of course we ship anywhere and everywhere and we love to ship. Here's another one of the big floral. Again, picture this one as a skirt for the summer. And you could roll it right into fall because the colors are dark enough. 
It would be fun in the spring with a little, you know, maybe a darker tank top or a sweater set to go over it. I think it's super cute. And then we've got one more. This one, it's a similar print that we looked at first. Good morning, we'll be right with you. And the colors are a little different. We've got kind of that mocha brown color in there. But I really like the, the scale on this print. Nice black background. You could transition that. It'll go with lots of things. Again, a lovely um, quilt piece for your blocks, borders, background. Might even play really nicely as a binding, kind of like the plaid ones. So lots of options there. Again, Northcott Banyan Batiks. We have lots of those in the shop. Um, yeah, definitely check out the website on those. So, got our fabric in. These are the fun things we got in this week. Not too many, but some really pretty things, some great things to play with, some quick projects, which are always fun. We are still celebrating Christmas in July here in the shop. Yesterday, yesterday started um, our thread sale. So all of the thread in the shop is currently 30% off. For those of you purchasing online, the uh, coupon code that you need is THREAD30, all one word, no caps necessary and that'll get you the discount on that. When you come into the shop, be sure to remind us because occasionally we do forget to put that in there, but we want to make sure you get the best deal going. So my camera person, Aspen, thank you Aspen, you're awesome, is going to do a little scan of some of the awesome threads that we have here in the shop. I think we have a pretty nice selection. I think for just about anything that you're going to be sewing on or any type of project, I think we've got something for you. You can see we've got a beautiful selection, great colors, of the Arrow Lock Nadira Serger Threads. These are in the large cones, and it's a great deal on those. Um, we've got some Maxi Lock, also for your serger. We've got a really nice selection of Wooly Nylon, and I should have opened one up to show you. This is the one that Margaret really likes. There are a couple other versions of a similar type of item out on the market. They're not quite as nice as this one. They're not quite as stretchy. Um, when you're doing your serging and you need something to give a little, especially if it's a knit item, maybe it's, you know, the neck hole or something, or even in a seam that's going to be a little snug, you need some give to it. The wooly nylon is certainly going to help you do that. And we've got, just got a whole bunch of good basic colors in that. And remember when you're serging, the threads don't have to match exactly because most of the time your serging seams are on the inside, unless you're doing a decorative something. But most of the time they're on the inside, so if it just kind of blends in. Um, so I like the idea of having woolly nylon in good basic colors, good neutrals, you know, a light gray, a dark gray, a black, maybe a navy, um, a good medium red, some tans, a cream, and that should really cover most of what you're going to be doing. If not, we do have some other colors. We've got some hot pink and some lavender and all kinds of fun things for sure. Um, serger thread, let's talk a minute about the serger thread. They do come in the big cones because sergers like to use a lot of thread, right? Um, sergers also use more than one thread at a time. So the threads themselves are designed to be used with other threads to strengthen the seam. So don't use your serger thread in your sewing machine to put your seam together. Margaret has a funny story that she shares about Somebody who put, uh, took care of a pair of pants for someone in her family here in the shop and this poor person, good morning. good morning, this poor person put the pants on and because it was serger thread, the thread broke and yeah, thank goodness they were still at home, they weren't out in public, but serger thread is meant to be used with other serger threads in order to give you that strength for the seam, um, so keep that in mind. Now, we do have some other really strong threads. We've got a great selection of isocord which is 100% polyester. Um, this thread, when you talk about all-purpose, isocord kind of is it. It is 100% polyester, as I said. You can use it for construction for your garments. You can use it for piecing for your quilts. You can use it for embroidery. The colors are fantastic. There's a little bit of a shine to it. And yes, you can also use it to do your quilting. Really an all-purpose thread comes in a bazillion different colors. We don't have all of them here, but if there's one that you really want, we can get it for you. That's not a problem. And we can still do that and make sure you get the discount too. 
So um, isocord thread is good all-purpose thread. We've also got bobbin thread for those of you doing embroidery. This will go a long way. Um, the OESD, I think, is the one that Alice likes the most. So that would be my recommendation on that. I do a little bit of embroidery, but not to the level that Alice does. She truly is the expert on that here in the shop. Back to the isocord. We've got the 5,000 meter cones. And if you're doing something like quilting, you're going to want the bigger cones. And again, we've got a few good basic colors. We've got some more over here on the shelf. But if there's one that you want, we can get that for you. That's really, really easy to do. We've got some wonderful um, heat fusible thread. This is kind of cool to play with, guys. I have done binding on a small quilt with this and doing the machine binding on both sides. The binding didn't move on me. I didn't miss it. So those of you that are playing with machine binding, you know what I'm talking about. This is really kind of a cool thing to play with. I actually did it on the serger. Go figure, right? We're going to move over here a little bit. I've got some Deco Bob. If you're not familiar with Deco Bob, Deco Bob is, is it by Wonderful? It's Deco Bob. Let's put it that way. It is an 80 weight thread. So what does that mean? Remember for thread, the higher the number, the finer the thread. This is really cool to use. Um, gosh, you could use it for English paper piecing because it's going to just disappear, which is kind of what you want for that. I have put it on the long arm and played with it on the long arm. And the cool thing with that is it literally sinks into the fabric. So you just get the texture, but you don't actually see the thread, which I think is kind of fun. Lots of cool colors in that one. Definitely try that out if you haven't done that before. The thread sale is a great time to try something a little different and see what you and your machine like to do together. We do also have Aurifil. I know our quilters love Aurifil. It's a good quality cotton thread. We, uh, I'm pretty fond of it. That's most of what's in my sewing room because mostly I do quilt. It's great for piecing. You can also quilt with it. You can put it in your domestic machine to quilt. You can put it on your long arm to quilt. We've got a pretty nice selection here. Um, again, if there's something you want, let us know. We probably can. We're going to move down this way a little bit. We've got some serger thread. If you are new to serging, this is a great way to do it. Put a different color thread in each needle and each looper, and then as you're tweaking the adjustments on things, you'll know exactly which one to do. These are um, also included in the thread sale. We've got something called cotton petites. These are cotton. They are a 12 weight, which is a pretty thick thread. We talked about the 80 weight and the deco bob being very fine. The 12 weight is definitely a little thicker, perfect for top stitching or even those fun decorative stitches that you have on your machine. You know, the ones you don't ever use, that you really should use, but you don't ever use them. Put some of this in there and play with that, and it's really kind of cool. Um, let's go this way a little bit. Aspen, we've got some more over here. We've got more of the Cotton Petites. Again, a really, really cool selection, and some fun variegated. There are several variegated versions of this one. I love using these with the uh, with the machine applique for our block of the month. Our block of the month ladies know what I'm talking about. It's really cool to play with. And then we've got some silk. We've got some jeans thread here. Here's some little bitty silk threads. These also would be great for English paper piecing if you've got some you know road trips you're planning, um, taking your project along with you. This is a great one to play with. We've got a couple colors of the confetti. This is double gassed Egyptian cotton. What the heck is that? Well, we all know Egyptian cotton is the really good quality cotton, right? When you see those advertisements for the really expensive bed sheets, they're usually for the Egyptian cotton. Double gassed, what does that mean? It's a gassing process that kind of burns off the fuzzies. So you're getting a lot of the lint off and you know the lint gets in your machine, you've got to clean it out more often. Sometimes that causes issues. This helps to eliminate it because, of course, they do it twice if it's double gassed. Kind of cool stuff. Um, the other thread that we sell a lot of here in the shop is called Presentia. This is a three-ply. It is also Egyptian cotton. Tons of different colors. And what I really, really like about this one, it's, it, it sews beautifully in, the, in our Bernina machines. But again, if you need just a specific color for something, Maybe you don't want to buy a big thing of isocord because maybe you hardly ever use that color. But you could get one of these. Or even two of these. And even in your serger, if you've got just a little bit of something where the thread's going to show through, you can probably pop one of these on there and it'll work just fine. 
So again, the thread code to get the discount is thread30. Put that in at checkout when you're using your uh, the online order at universityofsewing.com. So we the thread sale is going on till Thursday, next Thursday, and then we'll have our last sale for the um, Christmas in July sale, and then we'll have to put Santa away for a few months, but he'll be back before we know it. And Margaret and Dave and Alice will be back before we know it. We have missed them all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you saw something today that was interesting to you and come in and visit. We haven't sold any machines while Dave and Margaret are gone and I would love to sell something. So that 590, the crystal edition is still sitting over there wanting a new home. So come in, let's see if we can work that out for you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Join us next week. Thanks so much for everybody here at the University of Sewing.